Hello everyone, this is Dan with Arcade Funcade. Today we wanted to show you guys a cocktail table that we made. Uh, this guy's a super huge uh, cocktail table. It is a mega cage sized cocktail table without the side mounted control panel. And uh, this is a, a customer's machine. Um, he wanted us to make it with uh, extra huge, uh, extra large control panels. Three buttons. Wanted to, be, wanted to be able to play uh, four people, or I'm sorry, two people at a time. And he wanted to do the the four, twelve, and one. Uh, he also wanted to have an extra large, um, thirty-two inch monitor. So this is the same monitor we use in our regular Mega Cades, and uh, it's a really big cabinet. The top glass alone uh, is is forty by twenty-eight. Uh, so it's a big fella. And uh, I just wanted to do a little walk around of this guy, kind of show you what what we kind of look, what it looks like, completely finished. Some of the graphics, the design. We have a little Tron, Tron design here, a little, little uh, marquee on the control panel. And I wanted to go over a couple options, a couple ideas that we've we've been adding on here in the last couple, I think last year or so. Uh, what we ended up doing is that we, we went with a different style um, trackball. So when you move it, it actually changes colors. Um, we put LED lights, we usually do that. Uh, depends on what, what customers like. But we changed up our trackball from a two inch to two and a, two and a quarter inch. And uh, we noticed that our gameplay um, just increased, uh, it, just, it just got a lot better, it just uh, changed dramatically. And um, what's neat about that is that these two, that usually back in the day, used to have to, um, and I'm talking about like two, three years ago, <laughs> used to have to wire up the trackball and the joystick separately. So you could only use one at a time um, and, and it was a, it was kind of a pain in the ass if you wanted to be able to switch over games and that. So now, uh, we pretty much, now you, you have uh, direct, direct use. So I'm going to start a game up here. We have, we have centipede here and it looks super bright, but it's actually really have a nice dark contrast. So you can actually use a trackball now to do any movement. It's pretty darn fast. It's really, really, uh, it's hardwired. So it's, um, really responsive. And what's neat is that you could also use the joystick. So a lot of people ask us, is there is there a difference between the joystick and the trackball? You know, could I still play it? Um, and yes, the, the answer is yes, you can play it. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit harder because of the fact that you have to. Uh, uh, oh, the the the, um, the joystick is only a four way; it's not an eight way. So the four way is pretty much set up for games like Pac Man, Galaga, Donkey Kong, games that required a four way joystick originally. And the eight way is really nice because you could play, you can still play Pac Man that with it. So that's pretty neat. And there's no. There's no uh, time uh, in between. You could actually use use a joystick and the trackball all at the same time. So it's it's super fast, super responsive, and uh, it's really neat. The um, the 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 width of the of the, the control panel here. I'm gonna turn the light on here real quick. The width of the control panel is is uh, 14 and 3 eighths wide. So it's a little bit bigger. It's about two and a half. Uh, it's actually two and a half inches larger than our original uh, control panel to be able to accommodate that uh that trackball in the center so we do have we do have one on each side and they're both the same color they just change colors <laughs> so again i think we i think we mentioned that there um wanted to show you guys a service door we have a little service door here on the side and that that would allow you access to the entirety entirety of the uh of the machine you could com go completely inside and um, you could check out you could actually adjust your volume your main base um, knobs are in there. Uh, the the uh, the game board's in there if you need to make any changes in the menu and all that stuff. And we also added on this light kit. So you have you have this this uh, different color changing light. Um, it's it's just showing one of the effects that it could do. It can change quite a bit. It actually, has a couple uh, a couple little things. You have smooth, fade, strobe, flash. You can put whatever color you like, and uh, you could you could also turn it on turn it on and off. And uh, and it's kind of neat. We put one one on each side. And this, one, this side's kind of bright. You can still see you have a little track of LEDs underneath it. So it's kind of neat. It kind of lights up the outsides, so it doesn't. It gives it gives the machine a little bit of a, a nicer glow. I'm gonna turn this light off and walk back here. Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like from far away. So there you go. It's changing colors. Um, this machine. It's a very simple machine. It's a cocktail table. It's literally, literally a cocktail table with an extra large screen. And when we go, when we go from cocktail table to mega cage sized um, cabinets like this, 
Um, they actually have to have uh, everything grows. <laughs> everything has to get bigger on it. Obviously, the, the control panels have to be super big. Um, again, we don't, we don't want to have any smaller, uh, short, little uh, dinky size controllers with this size uh, cabinet. So the idea is to make our opening is even larger still to be able to allow us to see, see through the cabinet so you can see more of the control panel down below. So it's kind of neat to have a little overhang of glass here, which is nice. Um, the other thing is the cabinet alone, you have to, uh, we had to go, you had to order extra glass, extra large glass, same idea as the Megacade, extra large monitor. So it's essentially a cocktail table in a big body. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. Um, definitely a man-sized uh, cocktail table, that's for darn sure. Um, we do have a volume control knob on the side. Now, mind you, we do have, we did leave this one loose. Um, it does have a, a uh, headphone jack and an auxiliary in, so you could actually just leave this thing on if you're having a party or something and just, just kind of hook that thing up to a headphone jack on your, um, on your phone or whatever you have. And uh, you have your, your volume control knob here. We still haven't took that little sticker out there, so that's kind of neat. And this guy, uh, he, wanted, he wanted a 3M tape, this guy. So some people like to mount it in different places. I believe he wanted to mount it on the side, but we wanted to give him the liberty of, to, of doing that to kind of figure out what he wanted to do. Um, the other thing that's important that uh, a, lot of, a lot of other people haven't been, been using much of are these little, um, little glass clips. We've been seeing a lot of customers come in with... Uh, with their, again, used machines. And, and these guys, you know, they come in with for repairs that are not our machines, obviously. And uh, we, we have to do repairs on these guys. And they don't have clips. Their glass is sliding around in that. We're like, what the heck's going on? Uh, something as simple as a little two, three dollar little freaking clip. Um, really important. So these guys, these guys have the little clip. They also have a little sponge inside so you won't break the glass. And these are, these are perfectly sized for the size of the uh, machine. So they're, they're a one inch clip. Uh, if you guys need any, any replacements or anything, let us know. Um, that's another thing we can do. But yeah, if you guys like the video, um, give us a like, a share. And uh, again, you guys can check these guys out. You're going to be able to check this one out in, uh, at arcadefuncade.net. Uh, check it out there. Check out the gallery. We're going to have a couple pictures up. And it's pretty much one of the first of its kind. This is the first uh, Megacade-sized cocktail table that we've made um here in the shop which is pretty rare we usually we've i think we've made a little bit of everything but this is this is one that uh usually people opt for the uh the megacade so um this is one that we've we just have not made one of these in this size with this size control panel with that trackball so it's a little bit of a, a one timer here it's pretty awesome hopefully we can get a lot of these guys out um i like the idea that it's super man sized it's pretty awesome it's pretty it's a really truly truly a man sized <laughs> there's a we, we did have a guy come in a while ago. And that's kind of what inspired the Megacade. We had this, this really big guy come in. And he had these like Arnold Schwarzenegger-sized hands. <laughs> and uh, this guy goes in, and the glass was a lot shorter. It was about, about the height of the, the, about maybe a half inch above the, the joystick here. Maybe a little bit, a little bit higher. And uh, this guy stuck his hand in, and he could barely get his fingers in. I mean, it was kind of nuts. So uh, he was actually the inspiration to make this really big control panel. Again, 14 and a half inches. You put your one hand on, I mean, you still have enough for about three, four other hands there. <laughs> that, depending on what kind of party you're having. But, uh, and you, you could also change out the ball tops. That's another idea. You could always change out ball top colors and all that stuff from black, green, blue, purple, pink, whatever you can imagine. Even clear. I mean, there's some cool ones out there. Um, we usually just use the regular red. And uh, the, the, we are using a JS19 uh, joystick for this guy. Um, they're really they're a nice nice uh, nice application for what we need it for, and they just they're really nice and smooth. Some people like the the tighter the tighter feel. We have these tournament edition Namco direct replacements, and they're really cool, but they're really short. Some people don't like them because of the shortness. Um, they're they're again the direct replacement for the Pac Man Miss Pac Man. But what's neat about this guy? It's a little taller. You could actually get your fingers underneath it, and some people like to hold it like a wine glass, which is kind of funny. I've been noticing that as people come into the shop and. And play uh, play our machine, test our machines here. So yeah, we've been noticing that the the longer shaft is always a good idea uh, to go with. Um, so that's kind of neat. The uh, yeah, so there's there's a lot of lot of little details, but it's it's kind of a simple machine. It's just a large machine, nice and clean, sleek look. We did we did want to keep the uh, the images. The, the customer wanted to keep the images uh, nice and sharp. 
ni nice and centered out so so you have it almost just as much uh, room between the the two borders between the monitor and the outside so we kept it nice and tight um, we have a local company that does our graphics which is kind of neat um, they kind of help out they work with our customers so if you guys ever have questions about graphics and all that stuff we we have our uh, local graphic guys they do all the graphics for us and we just install them so um uh, customers can figure out their sizes, whatever they like. We, we usually give you guys dimensions um, of the machines. Like these guys, they're usually all blacked out. But this guy just ended up being, uh, he's a local fella. And uh, he wanted some cool stuff. So he, he actually he's not local. Oh, that's right. He's actually from New Jersey. <laughs> so he's kind of kind of hop and skip away. Or not so much. Uh, not so much so. So it's kind of neat though. We did, it, did a little cubert on the side. Came out really cool. With the LED lights, it's really neat. You can see some of the dust on there still from our shop. <laughs> but really cool graphics. I mean, these things are really awesome, really sharp. Nice, uh, has a nice finish on it. So, and it's really nice and high, it has a nice high gloss finish to it. So that's pretty awesome. That's that's one thing that people always look for, obviously. Everybody wants a nice, nice shiny stuff. Some people like the matte finish. We could do that too. Again, like the top. We have this anti-roll vinyl up top. And... Uh, it has it has more of a matte finish to it, so it's not like super shiny, um, and it's nice. It does it's not like you know blaring in your eyes when you have like light light in the room, shining around. So it's kind of cool. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what what you guys uh, ho was hoping you guys got a got a peek at this um, at this machine. That's really uh, it's a really cool machine. It really really kind of um, kind of kind of just became one of those little, uh, it's going to be, I think, one of our flagship machines. We're going to have to make our cocktail tables a little bigger because of this guy. <laughs> so hopefully you guys like it. Again, you guys can check it out on arcadefunkade.net. If you have any any questions, you could also uh, email us at arcadefunkade at gmail.com. Um, feel free to give us a call at 402-641-4482. Again, this is Dan with Arcade Funkade. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching, and uh, game on.